I don't feel it here at all. Like right here is, is fine. But, ooh, sh Imagine if I didn't have the numbing cream on. Derma Stamp is the way to go. If you have no pain tolerance, take that, you deep scar. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally going to start the 1.0 millimeter derma rolling, actually derma stamping session. Let's see, the last time I have derma rolled was probably back in August of 2020, which means about five months has passed. Yes, that's a long time. I have not done any type of microneedling, derma rolling, derma stamping on my face nor my hair. A lot has been going on in my life. It's not all necessarily bad things, but I have been stressing out. I have I haven't been diagnosed with it, but I have anxiety issues. I get a little bit anxious and I get stressed. Then I start breaking out like crazy. I had a constellation thing going on here. I had four huge cystic-ish acne growing on my right cheek. My right cheek was just going crazy. Then sometimes my left, then on my right again. It's been an endless cycle of constant acne. I couldn't get a chance to derma roll at all. So yeah, today, finally, December, my skin is finally clear enough for me to do this. So I am really excited to get started on this. Okay, so as usual, I'm going to take the microneedling device, in this case the Derma Stamp, I'm going to pour 70% alcohol over it and let it air dry for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna go wash my face. I don't have any sunscreen on or makeup on. If I do, I usually would remove it using a cleansing balm. But since I don't, I'm gonna go ahead and go straight into washing my face using my favorite face wash, the Effect Lard by La Roche-Posay. By the way, when my acne was getting really bad, I started washing my face for a whole minute straight using this, and I feel like it helped make my acne go down faster. I don't know if it's a salicylic acid, but I feel like if I do wash my face for a whole minute using this, it helps with my acne. So yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go wash my face and be right back. Alrighty, I washed my face. I also lightly exfoliated using this Cure Aqua Gel Exfoliating Gel. I also realized I didn't get to show you guys what my scars look like just yet. Oh man, I have not done this in a long time, so I forgot the routine. Completely forgot how I usually do this. Okay. So I have my two spotlights that I always use whenever I show you guys my scars under a top lighting technique. Dang, that still looks pretty good. Don't mind the red skin. I don't think that's really gonna affect how the indentations look, but wow. Actually, and maybe it does because now it looks even more red, but so you see the redness is not something I'm gonna look into. It's really the indentation themselves that I wanna see a difference in. Ooh, it doesn't even look that red in this lighting, but here's the right cheek. I think that's a major indentation there. It's like you could definitely see this texture right here. Now if I turn my head more to the left, I'm not going to be able to see the viewfinder, so I'm going to just hope that it's showing. So, yeah, I do apologize that I forgot to record what my scars are looking like before I washed my face and did the exfoliation, so now my skin is red. I don't know what I should do. Should I just wait for the redness to die down and then re-record? Nope. I decided I couldn't wait any longer and went ahead and got started. As usual, I numbed my face for 20 minutes, then wiped it off with an alcohol-soaked cotton pad. So here we go. This is probably gonna really hurt. This hurts, for sure. I don't feel it here at all. Like, right here is, is fine. But, ooh, sh Ow, that hurts. In an effort to hold my skin taut, I'm just gonna poof up my cheek because I don't want to touch my skin right now. I've seen people on Jen Amber's Instagram showing really good results from just using the 1.0 once or twice. So I'm really looking forward to the results using this. This is really one millimeter. It, it really doesn't hurt. 
if you want to learn a thing or two from my experience, I would say Derma Stamp is the way to go if you have no pain tolerance. This hurts a lot less than a Derma roller. I'm not pressing too hard. It's just enough, I think, to have the needles penetrate through all the way. So one thing I forgot to mention is that the Aqua Stamp is meant for you to put in some kind of serum into the glass bottle portion of the Derma Stamp, which I clearly didn't do mainly because, well, I pretty much forgot. But you can actually apply serum to your face before your Derma Stamp. Peptide serums are usually recommended to give you an extra collagen boost, which I might do next time. But yeah, sorry, I, I totally forgot about that. These guys are so stubborn right here. Just gonna give them some extra love, if you wanna call it that. Like, take that, you deep scar. <coughs> I say that, but I'm the one in pain. Okay, I'm gonna call it done. And as usual, I'm going to use Jen Amber's sheet mask. It is extremely hydrating and moisturizing. So even if you're afraid that wiping your face with alcohol is gonna be really drying, I keep getting comments over and over again. You shouldn't use alcohol on your face, but why then do professionals use alcohol to sanitize your skin before sticking needles into your skin? This is actual needle penetration, guys. You're gonna need to sanitize your skin and the needles if you don't wanna get any kind of infection. And this is definitely going to undo any kind of dryness. You know, my skin is already getting dry from not putting moisturizer on right after washing it, you know? This is once a month that I'm doing this. And I'm putting this extra hydrating mask. And I never experienced any dryness. And that's on top of, like I said, professionals using... Professionals meaning, you know, of course when you get shots, but of course I'm also talking about um, estheticians, professionals who give you professional microneedling treatments. They will definitely use alcohol to wipe your skin. And if that doesn't say enough, I mean, you know, by all means, if you are too scared to do it, then, you know, I'm not gonna force you to, but at the same time, it's just, don't be telling people not to do things. You, you yourself are unsure, you know, if are you a medical professional, where you're getting information from, you know? And of course, don't trust 100% what I tell you. You go do your own research, all right? I'm just showing you what I'm experiencing, and I'm telling you, for me, it's been fine. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for 20 minutes. I'll be right back. So when I'm done derma stamping, I drizzle alcohol over it again and close the lid and let it dry. It's got a hole at the top of it, as you can see, so you know it's gonna be able to air dry even with the lid on. So I just let it air dry overnight that way. And the next morning, I just put it back in its box. And yeah, that's it. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. So I'm gonna take the mask off. Then I'm gonna take whatever remaining serum is in here. Take that and rub it all over. A lot of you guys ask me what I apply afterwards, but this is basically it. This is my moisturizer after I drum roll. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video just to show you guys that I have officially started doing this. And then I'm going to record what my results look like so far in one month. Um, remember, this is the 1.0 millimeter size needle, so I'm gonna be doing this once a month. One other thing I would like to mention is that I'm also taking this collagen peptide supplement. This is what it looks like. Powder, you put one scoop of it in. What is that black? Oh, it's a shadow. I put one scoop in into either my coffee or my protein oatmeal every day. So keep that in mind. I don't know if it really is helping, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know that that's also something I'm doing internally on the side. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed. Stay tuned for my one month update and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. See ya.